Francisco Goya was a Spanish Romantic painter and printmaker. He was born in Spain the 30th of March 1746. His family was a lower middle class. His father Joseph was the son of a notary, earning his living as a glider, specialising in religious and decorative craft work. His mother's family had pretensions of nobility and the house. A modest brick cottage was owned by her family. At age 14, Goya studied under the painter Joseph Luzanne. And in Luzanne's workshop, he copied stamps for four years until he decided to work on his own. Goya then moved to Madrid to study with Anton Rafael Mengs. Goya submitted entries for the Real San Fernando Academy of Fine Arts in 1763 and 1766, but was denied entrance. Having failed to earn a scholarship, Goya relocated at his own expense to Rome. Rome was then the cultural capital of Europe and held all the prototypes of classical antiquity with all of its significant visual achievements in the past. Like many great historical figures, Goya was unknown at the time, so the records are scant and uncertain. Early biographers have him him traveling to Rome with a gang of bullfighters, where he worked as a street acrobat or fell in love with a beautiful young nun, whom he plotted to abduct from her convent. In 1771, he won second prize in a painting competition organized by the city of Parma. His painting began to show signs of delicate tonalities, for which he became famous. Goya then married Josefa Bayou in 1773. Their life was characterized by an almost constant series of pregnancies and miscarriages, and only one child, a son, survived into adulthood. He became a court painter to the Spanish crown in 1786, and this early portion of his career is marked by portrayals of Spanish aristocracy and royalty, and Rocco-style tapestry cartoons designed for the royal palace. In 1783, the Count of Florida Banca, favorite of Charles III of Spain, commissioned Goya to paint his portrait. He became friends with Crown Prince Don Luis, spending two summers painting portraits of both the infants and his family. In 1786, Goya was given a salaried position as a painter to Charles III. Goya received commissions from the highest ranks of Spanish nobility, including Pedro Chaget de Rune, 9th Duke of Osuna, and his wife Maria Josefa Pimentel, Maria del Pilar de Silva, and her husband Jose Alamares from Teldo, 15th Duke of Medina Sidon. Maria and de Ponte, who is in Sandoval. He was very successful, painting for very high up people, kings and queens and people from all around the world that were very important. However, at some time between late 1792 and early 1793, an undiagnosed illness left Goya deaf. He became withdrawn and introspective while the direction and tone of his work changed. Goya's physical and mental breakdown happened a few weeks after the French declaration of war on Spain. A contemporary reported, the noises in his head and deafness aren't improving. Yet his vision is much better, and he is back in control of his balance. It is possible that Goya suffered from cumulative lead poisoning, as he used massive amounts of lead white, which he ground himself in his painting. Other post-mortem assessments point towards paranoid dementia, possibly due to an unknown brain trauma, as evidenced by marked changes in his work after his recovery. Increasingly paranoid features are obsessed in his post-illness paintings, accumulating in the black paintings, of which Saturn devouring his sons is best known. The French army then invaded Spain in 1808, leading to the Peninsular War of 1808 to 1814. Gaia remained in Madrid during, which seemed to have affected him deeply. Although he did not vocalize his thoughts in public, they can be inferred from his Disaster of War series of prints. He was undergoing a nervous breakdown and entering prolonged physical illness and admitted that the series was created to reflect his own self-doubt, anxiety and fear that he was losing his mind. Gaia wrote that the work served to occupy my imagination tormented as it is by contemplation of my sufferings. Goya eventually abandoned Spain in 1824 to retire to the French city of Bordeaux. He completed his bullfighting series and a number of other major canvases. Following a stroke which left him paralyzed on his right side and suffering failing eyesight and poor access to painting materials, sadly he died and was buried on the 16th of April 1828 at age 82. His body was then later re-entered into Spain. And that was the life of Francis Goya. A lot like many other great people, his huge fame and priceless art came many years after his death.